You're going to be here. We're playing one on one. Let's back you up just behind the black. One on one, but you don't know who you're going to play against until he passes. Right? So we're again putting the defense at disadvantage. There's a lot of uncertainty for you. He's going to throw a bounce pass to either one of them. When you catch it, you have only two options shoot it or drive it within one second of your catch. But she's not playing with him. He's not playing with him, right? So when they catch it, it's just you two one on one, right? And if she scores, she'll stay, and you'll go out, and Mike will come in as new defense. If you stop her, you'll take her place. Okay? You guys ready? Mike, come to you, Jesse. We're past the other side, playing one-on-one -on -one from the catch. Here we go. Shot. Oh, it's a good shot. Right decision. Good. So you, so you, would, go, you would go out and one new, new player in on D. Yeah, toes on the black. Like you're just in the middle of the paint. You don't know which side it's going to, so you're ready to roll. Ready. Shoo. Good try. You did a lot more sidestep there, right? Versus what I would go for is just straight it's, toward it. It's yeah. Third, fourth, or yeah. Third, no, third, you you no, could third, you could do this for first second. I would probably evolve toward this by the end of the season, right? Like just catching and shooting with the footwork we've been practicing is a lot. Like catching and driving, and then you know putting defense in front of you. It's it's an evolution process. So more advanced players you could do this with definitely for three four. Let's uh, let's see it again. Oh, huh. good drive. Okay, now back to a concept we worked on with our drive and kick and pass and cut. Where do we always want to drive? Either. Away from what? The okay. pass. The pass. Oh. Yeah, remember that? So defense is always shifted where the ball is. Whenever I catch a pass, including here, that defender is coming from the ball side of me. I want to take it, drive away from pass. Yeah? So you, so caught, you caught it, you hesitate a little second, and then you drove back, right? What we find is you're driving into the, the den where the defense is already waiting for you. You have less opportunities, right? Uh, yes? defense stay until they stop? Uh, we'd rotate out. So if you got scored on, we'd go new defender, but you're in the defensive line until you get a stop. Yeah. Let's try it again. Right. Let's try that again. Yeah, you caught yourself, but the the problem was actually before that because you ran that way a long ways before you caught it. I want you to just right here catch and shoot. Okay. Yeah. Let's try it again. Yeah. <laughs> catch the dot. Here we go. Yeah. It's a good shot. Good shot. Still, I would say a lot of your motion was sideways, right? You were here. You caught it over here, right? Which. Evolution that would actually help you, but quicker shot is straight in, quick shot, quick feet. Let's go next defense. Uh, he missed, so you take his place, and Jesse's D. Here we go. He's ready. Good. Oh, we're getting serious now. I like it. Good defense. Good drive decision, Mike. Here we go. There we go. Oh, he goes reverse. Great. So that's what we call the zero hesitation decision, right? He caught it. You did a great job getting to him, but he recognized it and didn't slow down. He was gone by the time you got there, right? If we get players good at nothing else individually, that is the biggest leverage we have. Shoot it right when you catch it. Drive it right when you catch it, if you're reading that defender, and don't hesitate. Because what we find is most players will catch it, Look around, think about it. Meanwhile, the defense is locked in and ready for them, and now we have a terrible try to try and score, right? Let's play a couple more times. Here we go. Yes. Good shot decision. Same idea. No hesitation is what we want. Good job. Yes. Nice, Mike. All right? So now, what, what are we seeing the defense needs to evolve to? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get there. Like, they're doing quick feet, quick shot. Like, it's really hard to stop them. So, we get an opportunity to evolve our defense. Let's go one more play. Huh. Shot made. I would actually replay that. Why? Uh, what did you not do that we've been working on? Uh, <laughs> Good, let's replay. Yeah, well, no, didn't move your feet, right? Yeah. You were out here with some space. You caught it and shot it, but I call it a statue shot. I want to get that left right into it so you got power and momentum, yeah. right? Yeah. So I just like, I just point that out like I just did and instant replay. Yeah, yeah? here we go. Yes. Good drive. Perfect.
All right, so let's talk about the defense side. We had some questions about that earlier. Uh, I have worked long and hard on trying to simplify defense for players. Uh, what I've arrived at is just two letters of the alphabet in relation to footwork. So I call it the L step and the X step. So if, uh, if Jesse's catching it at the dot and I'm in the situation we were just in, when I get to him, he wants to drive where? Away from the pass. There's space over there. He can do what he wants with me. What I want to do is just the opposite, is force him back toward the pass, right? My buddy, who was guarding the man with the ball initially, is now in the way. When Jesse drives, like, we've got a lot easier time double teaming him, right? And the L part of this is running out into sliding sideways to contain that drive, right? L step. Um, let's, uh, let's do that pass. Let me just work on my positioning. As you catch it, Jesse, let's just freeze it at the catch. Bounce pass. I get here. So this is what we call a stick arm. What you'll find with beginner players is that they want to come up here, and his first step is always past me. So good NBA defenders you watch, they've got this as a measuring stick. Even if I'm big and slow, I probably have longer arms, which gives me an advantage. When he drives, I've got space and time to recover, right? I'm able to get there. So we work on just that first piece is close out to stick arm. I'm getting here with enough space that he can't get past me. And then slow motion, he can start to drive and I'm going slide, right? As we get faster, let's go a little more full speed. Just drive left for me. We'll go like half speed. I'm coming out, he drives and I'm sliding, right? So I'm getting good at run forward to slide sideways. And now I'm containing a drive, right? And the strategic point of this we're trying to build in is my first run is to this side of him so that I know he's gonna go that way before he knows he's gonna go that way. So now I can definitely load up and be ready for that foot to slide, right? I'm being a wall here. He's not really gonna try to go through me. He might go around me, in which case I can recover, but I'm getting him to go where I want him to and I'm anticipating that. Go. Good, and then slide. Yes, Dylan, great. Let's do the other side. Kara, try here. Why don't we go Jesse, Dylan, switch for the next round. Go ahead. Boom. Yeah. So I would change your position to try to influence him to go this way. Yeah. So right from your stick arm, I want to get more here and get him to go to your left. Yeah. Let's replay that one. I'll duck. Here we go. Good. That's it. Good L step care. All right. Other side, Jesse's on D. Ready? Good. That's it. Perfect. Uh, the only thing I'd improve footwork wise is to try to make it a push instead of a pull. So you got here wide, kind of wide enough that you had to use this leg to pull you first. I want to be loaded up so that leg is a push. Yeah? Inside foot goes first. Go ahead to uh, Mike's side. Or Kara's catching a pass. Mike is defense. Yeah? Here we go. Good. Let's try it again. Pretty good positioning. Arms are out here. I want to get stick arm. A lot more annoying for a shooter or a dribbler, that hand, especially with your length of arms. Bother her with that. Here we go. Stick arm catch. Good. And then slide. <laughs> Here we go. She's got the handles in the post. Oh. All right. So let's work on the next progression of this. What I like to point out, we actually did a, a video with my assistant coaches and some of our third, fourth grade players that come to our program. And he asked them to actually do a race because one of them answered this. Uh, kind of the opposite way we would want them to. He asked them, if the ball is running and you're sliding, who wins the race? And they said sliding. And so he had them line up on the baseline. All right, you kid, slide the whole way. You kid, run the whole way. <laughs> he went down and back by the time they reached the opposite baseline. All right. so what I'm trying to change the world of defense on, coaches say slide your feet, slide your feet, slide your feet. If you only slide and they run, they're going to beat you every time. So my X step is just getting you to run. So we're coming out, we're trying to slide, so we're always going to do the L shape first. But now if they start to get past me, I'm going to turn and run because I can cover twice as much distance per step and get back in front of them. That make sense? Who's ever heard coaches say, don't cross your feet on defense? Yeah, common cliche. So what they're really talking about is while you're sliding, you definitely don't want to do this because you're going to trip yourself up, right? What we're doing is turning our hips, shoulders, and toes into a running stride to make up ground and recover back in front of the ball, right? So let's keep it slow on offense. We're still gonna drive middle. Defense, we wanna try to do 
Step one is a slide. Step two is a run. See if we can get in front of them. All right, let's try it. X step. Yes, great job, Jesse. That's perfect. Let's rotate each time. Dylan, go out to baseline. Jesse, go to offense. Mike is defense. Good. Here, you can stay. We can play both sides again now. We got the idea. Some uncertainty. Good. That's it. Let's rotate again. Mike to offense. Dylan's ND. First step slide, second step run. Here we go. That's it. Good, Dylan. Yeah, and the size of your step doesn't really matter as much. You want to just be going fast, right? I could be a real short step and even short running steps, but it gets me moving quickly, right? Here we go, Kara. Yes, great job. Uh, what do you notice so far about number of steps we need to run before we're kind of back in position? Yeah, one or two is what I found, right? What do most coaches work on? Like, if you've ever, if you remember drilling with your high school, or maybe you guys have done this as coaches, how do coaches teach defensive shuffling? <laughs> right, you go, a, you go a three mile run on a shuffle in one direction at one speed. It's terrible. It never happens in a game. What we find is it's two, maybe three, right? I might go shuffle, shuffle, run, run, shuffle again. I'm not doing much else more than three steps, right? And running tends to be two. It's just what I've found, kind of universal. You scale up the size and athleticism players, offense and defense, we still end up at about the same, one or two steps. Um, so that's my whole thought process on one-on-one -on -one defense is just get good at those transitions. If you can get good at running towards somebody into sliding in an L shape, and you can get good at running from a slide into a run and back again, X step, then you're going to cover most of what you need to for uh, on-ball defense at least.